Creating and modifying tables of contents in RoboHelp is quite simple and quite logical. The project that we're looking at right now in Project Manager has got a number of topics. For instance, the one we're looking at right now, attendance. If we scroll further down in the Project Manager, we'll find that there's a special folder for table of contents. And when we unfold this, we'll discover that there actually are three separate table of contents for this project. Double clicking on them will reveal them. The first one is for the full employee care manual. The second one is for an ebook version. You can see that it's much shorter. And you'll also see there's a third extremely short table of contents for an international version. These table of contents that we're looking at can actually be applied to different profiles in different outlets. Outputs. For instance, notice how short the ebook profile is because we would not want as many items in our table of contents. If we were to go down to our single source layouts and take a look at the um, ebook, we'll see that in our content it's actually specifying the shorter ebook table of contents, although the others are available. Let's go ahead and close this and let's see how you can actually create your own table of contents and modify it because you may need an alternate version. This is quite simple to do. You simply select table of contents, create a new table of contents, give it a name that makes sense to you for the project or the audience that you're going to. Now it is possible to copy an existing table of contents. In this case I'm actually going to first of all just auto create a table of contents and as I do this this will actually go through and select all of the topics and subtopics. You'll basically notice that each folder here um, has got an equivalent. Uh, you know for instance we have a folder for HR policies here and we have HR policies over here and if we unfold it we'll see that it has virtually the same content. Now you can easily um, customize this a couple different ways. One is I may realize that this first section is not necessary. This is internal notes about the project so I'm going to simply delete it. This talks about the employee care book. That may be fine. I may also decide that there are certain topics that are not necessary to this audience I'm going to for navigation. So for instance I could get rid of the new employee checklist um, I may want to get rid of harassment grievances, equal opportunities, dependent leave, and employee sick pay. This is basically creating a shorter table of contents. What we can also do is delete entire topics as I'm doing here and then it's possible to actually go over to the project window and you can actually drag over um, folders or topics that you would like to add to your table of contents. In fact it's actually possible <coughs> it's actually possible I'm sorry to create an entire uh, table of contents in this manner. You also can use arrows to, pr to promote it to a higher level if you wish. And I finally may decide that I want part of benefits so I'm going to go ahead and put benefits down here. Uh, perhaps I'd like benefits to move over and I may want to get rid of um, uh, company cars because that's not going to apply to the people that I'm going to be sharing this with. Once you've applied a table of contents uh, to a particular output, for instance I've actually uh, selected the full employee care manual table of contents for my web help. If I decide that I'd like to view that um, with my browser to get a preview of it as I'm doing here, when this opens up my browser will come up and I'll actually see the same table of contents choices that were in there earlier. For instance here are all of those HR policies and procedures that we saw in the original version before I made my customized version. So it's just that simple to create table of contents and this is highly useful when you do single channel publishing and you wish to output um, different versions for different audiences and you can actually have uh, separate table of contents to suit their needs. This, includes, this concludes our RoboHelp 10 demonstration.